I started on this journey myself. I was tired of the yo-yo dieting, like losing the weight and gaining it back and losing the weight. And I said, I have got to find a way that I can actually just lose the weight and lose it for good. And so what I discovered is that as we really embrace this new mindset and all around how we eat, what we eat and how we move, it this journey becomes a true lifestyle. It's something that we can just embrace and really become a part of who we are. And that's where it starts. You know, we live in an instant society. We all want to lose 20 pounds by tomorrow, right? It's not going to happen. What I have is it taking like little steps and you just keep building on it. I love the book. I don't know if you've ever read the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, mm -hmm. but it, you know, where you just take little simple steps and keep adding to it and adding to it. And that's really a lot of what my program is all about. But it starts with mindset. We need to really develop a new a new um, self-image, okay? Like uh, <clears throat> instead of thinking that I am just totally addicted to junk food, we need to turn that around because if that's the way you think, that's the way you're going to behave and you're going to um, eat as if you're addicted to all that junk food. But I will tell you, it's not your fault if you feel addicted to junk food because the food industry actually hires craveability experts. That's their job. They want us to eat more because it's higher profits for them. It just makes sense, right? So what we need to do is really work on why we want to lose the weight. Is it just simply for a, a, a smaller pant size or is it bigger than that? Is it as we begin to age, do we want to be able to stay self-sufficient? That was really what it was about for me. I knew as I'm aging, like I want to continue to be active. I love to golf. I want to continue to be on the golf course until my 80s and even 90s. I actually met a man not too long ago who still does mountain climbing and he's well into his 80s, like I, I believe upper 80s. And it's all about maintaining our bodies. Our bodies do not have to fall apart as we age, we think that a lot of these diseases are just age related. I'm here to share with you a lot of it is food related and movement, lack of movement related, right? So that's really key is to really embrace that, that you want to become healthier and, and really why you want to become healthier. And that'll help you make better decisions. And the second component of my Ditch the Diet program is all about eating clean. And what do I mean by that? What I really mean is really uh, making the core of what you eat, basically lean proteins, vegetables, fruits, grains, and beans. That should be what 90% of your diet really is. I actually teach people how to cook like whole foods. I have partnered with a food company, so I have clean spice blends that can pull together a meal in 20 or 30 minutes. I know we're all time crunched and that's a big part of it. It's much easier, you know, to grab something that you can pop in the in the microwave and, you know, but if you look at the package and if there is a bunch of ingredients in there that either you can't read or you're not really sure what they are, I would say it's time to reconsider that and really go back to the basics. And it was like really in the uh, 60s and 70s when the food industry really boomed with all of these pre-packaged meals. And if you look at the health challenges here, especially in the US, all of those things began to really creep up and increase at the same time. We're really, we've gotten away from fueling our body with good wholesome food. A couple of things that are going to happen when you do this is one is you're going to have more energy. I have many friends my age, I turned 65 this year, and I am, I, I, I'm not one to, to, I don't need a nap. And so many of my friends are like, oh, by mid-afternoon, I need a nap. Well, I used to need a nap because I used to be eating the wrong stuff, right? But if you're fuel, fueling your body with good, wholesome food, you're going to have the energy. You're going to, you're going to eliminate that brain fog. And for many of us, especially those of us who are entrepreneurs, like we are, and even, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're working, whether you're, you you know, you're home with children and, and juggling a job in the home and, and all of that stuff. We have multiple tasks to get done in the day. And in order to really have the energy and again, have the focus, have the ability to really accomplish all that you want to accomplish, it really starts with what you're fueling your body with. You know, think of your car, uh, you're putting, you know, the right type of gas in there. You're not adding water to it, right? Uh, you want it to burn efficiently. And the same thing is true for our body. In order for our bodies to burn efficiently, we need to really 
fuel it with good wholesome food. And I know a lot of people think that it's too difficult. It's too challenging. And I get that because I had that same mindset that, oh my gosh, how can I really create these meals? You know, it, it was taking me a long time. And then honestly, I, this food company that I partnered with, it, it made a world of difference. I can pull together and I teach people how to make meals really super simple, really super clean in like 20 or 30 minutes. And they're super nutritious. And that's what you want to do is figure out, you know, how to eat and what to eat in order to, you know, again, have the energy that we want. And then movement. I like to stay away from that word exercise because <laughs> sometimes that gets a bad rap. But, you know, if you if you just start moving a little bit more each and every day. And when I started, it was a little over a year ago and um, I really wasn't moving too much too regularly. And I started with a 10 minute walk. And even that felt a little daunting at first. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I should be able to do 10 minutes, but it was a struggle to get up there and get on my treadmill and walk for 10 minutes. So, or, you know, get outside, but that's where I, I recommend people start just simply moving. Now it might be getting out and taking a walk. It might be dancing around the kitchen uh, while you're, um, you know, while you're cooking. It might be, you know, playing actively with your children. It might be getting together with a friend. And very often, you know, if you buddy up, it's going to be that much easier because I, I, I walk with a, a girlfriend of mine and we try to get together probably once every two weeks, but we can walk for well over an hour because we just start chatting away. And before you know it, you know, so much time is going by. But typically I, I get outside for anywhere from 45 minutes to, to an hour. And, but if you're not there and I wasn't there, believe me, I didn't start there. I started with that 10 minutes. And then some days when I felt like, oh my gosh, I really don't want to walk. I tell myself, okay, you just have to walk for 10 minutes. You know, that's it. Or um, another great tip that I like to teach is uh, YouTube is full of exercise videos, aerobic videos, you know, and there's some that are geared for all ages, all abilities, beginner levels, you know, even something like yoga, you might think that yoga is a simple exercise, but as a, that can be a little strenuous. So start with, you know, beginner yoga, you can even do chair exercises, because not everybody that I work with is actually even able to get out and walk, uh, you know, due to their health challenges going on. But there are simple chair exercises just to start moving with some, you know, leg lifts, some very light weights, even a three pound hand weight, you know, using that to start is just where you want to start. And then we'll worry about building onto that. But I find that when people try to, you know, do way too much, I actually was just on a call with a woman the other day. She goes, yeah, I've got this great 40 minute um, workout that I'm going to start doing. I said, don't do it for 40 minutes. Like if you haven't been doing anything and you are trying to get in that whole 40 minutes, you might do it today because you're super excited. But tomorrow when you want to do it again, you're going to think, oh gosh, that was so hard. I said, you know, just do it for 10 or 15 minutes and build up. And over the course of several weeks or a couple of months, you will be up to the 40 minutes. It'll feel comfortable. It'll be a part. It can be a part of what you do every single day. So again, the three core components of, of my Ditch the Diet program is number one, mindset. And again, you know, there, I have a lot of um, activities, tips that, that I teach people. Journaling is really effective, using affirmations, um, listening to different uh, podcasts. I love listening to, you know, podcasts for motivation, reading good books, all of that to get your mindset in the right place. And then two is really cleaning up your food, ditching that highly processed foods, really gearing it up to more. And I, and I don't say completely eliminate, although I would like to be able to do that, but even I don't, you know, there are, there are days when I still, I want to have a pizza. Yeah. I don't have it regularly, but once in a while, yeah, I'm going to have a pizza. We just went through the holidays. I had a few holiday cookies, but it, again, when those are just like treats and not like an everyday kind of thing. And, you know, um, people who feel like they just like crave sugars, it's true. If you eat sugars every day, added sugars, candies, that kind of thing, you're going to crave it more. And if you can get through the first two, three, four days, you are going to see that that craving subsides significantly and you're not going to really feel like you really need all that extra sugar. And then the fruits that you pick up are going to taste so super sweet. You'll be amazed at how, you know, that really will satisfy that sweet tooth for you. So it's the mindset, it's the um, food, the clean food that we're eating as well as uh, some kind of movement. And again, start small. And as you build, you will find that 
movement becomes just a, a, a everyday need for you. You'll want to be out there moving because um, you know what? Sometimes we think, oh, I don't have the energy to do it. But if you just get up and start moving for 10 or 15 minutes, you will actually increase your energy and it you'll have more energy. It's kind of crazy the way that works. We think that um, you know we need to be motivated to do something, but that's not true. If we take the action first, the motivation will happen and things will start uh, you know coming together for you. I actually have a free uh, coaching session that I am making available for anybody. And I would love to, as a matter of fact, I opened up my calendar for this afternoon and for um, part of the day tomorrow. Of course, Monday is a holiday, but I wanted to make sure that anybody watching this would have the opportunity to jump on a quick Zoom call with me. Let's look at what you're eating, how you're moving. You know, what is your goal for 2024? How can I help you take some simple little steps to get there? So this is a complimentary call and it is, um, you can go to ditchsession.com. That's D-I-T-C-H session, S-E-S-S-I-O-N.com, <laughs> because we want to ditch the diet together, right? And find out what is not working for you. And again, like I said, it's about taking little steps. And if we can just get on that call, like I said, I've, I've freed up my afternoon today and a few hours tomorrow afternoon for anybody who wants to jump on, because I don't want to have to wait till Tuesday. Let's get, you know, let's start thinking about it today, because when it's fresh in your mind, that's the best time to take action right now and, and see what we can do together. So that really, um, about that That's wraps awesome. up what I wanted to share. Thank you, JB. And uh, I hope uh, each and every one of you will, you know, click on that link and, and book a, a quick session with me about 30 minutes uh, to figure out what's what's going on.